Okay, so for my next video, I figured I'd give you a little intro of what I look like because all of you have been asking. So here you go, me. Yay, nothing special. Um, and I will be showing you the next uh, five Bakugan that I just got in the mail yesterday. So enjoy. Okay, so obviously for the first one that I got in, which I was really happy about, and you can see from all of its distinctive features, is the Baliton or Balaton. We don't know quite how it's pronounced yet, but we'll just go with it. And there he is open. And hopefully you're getting better video quality of this because I'm actually using my camcorder and not... Where's my... Oh, wherever my camera went. I was using a normal camera that just had video. But this is actually a video camera, so hopefully this is better quality for everyone. So just a key, a couple things. He has three attributes, one main one, and then two smaller ones on his legs. He also has retracting arms, or at least what I believe is arms, plus a rear uh, spike. You can see on the inside the little springs um, for his arms and spikes. Um, his head's the same way. And that's pretty much all there is to him. So, there's that one. Next we have Fox Bat. I got him in translucent, so he's a little bit harder to see. But, we'll do our best. <clears throat> so, first things first, there's the triangles that seem to be appearing on a lot of the newer series that have been coming out, along with all of these dots. I don't know if that's a design feature or if it actually means something, but we'll find out. Uh, these wing pieces obviously move. They actually go on the inside for when you close him. Same with his horns. Those move. However, his mouth does not. It's fixed. And let's see. He's 630 G's. You can see that in there. And he has kind of a unique tail with this little fork going on. So there's a little view of him. Next up... I have, where'd he go? Here he is. I guess scoot him back for this. Megabrontis. Yay. Okay, so um, he's set up the same way pretty much as Mega Nemesis was. A couple of key little things. Uh, he's 660 Gs. Let's see. 660. He's got these little arms on the inside with little three fingers. Um, he doesn't have the little spikes around the edge, but he's a little bit more mechanically done. He also has the same as the original Brontus with his little smile that you can see in there with a little bit of uh, facial features with a nose and mouth kind of little chevron, I guess you would say. So there's Make Brontus. Next up, here we go, let's get him in here get him all situated. There we go. Well, now you can see he obviously takes up a large part of the card, so if you ever want him and you want nobody to be able to get on your card, well, this is a good one to do. Um, he has spring-loaded tail, which that's pretty cool. I don't know if these are eyes or anything else, but he has seven of those. Um, X's on each one of his little legs. Um, as you can see, his head moves, and so do his feet, or claws, whatever you want to define him as. And last but not least, probably my favorite, um, kind of in a cube, but you can see they've got little bubbles going on. Um, where's his magnet? <laughs> there it is. Ta-da! He ain't metal fencer. So yet again, with another very large space taking Bakugan, he almost takes up the whole card. Let's get his tail out. Now I don't know if this little tail piece in here is going to be some form of gun, or if it's uh, going to be used as a stinger. But it's something. I'm sure we'll find out whenever they decide to use him in the show, because Spin Master doesn't tell us anything. His head. You'll see 
can move. That's actually a key point in how you get him back into his ball form. He has three eyes, and unlike Scorpion, he has these little U parts on each of his legs rather than X's. Other than that, he's pretty basic. Yet again, there's a couple of these dot features on his legs as well and on his body. And that's pretty much it. And he kind of has some articulating legs. There you go.